Waypoints is such a highly requested feature and for good reason. It's one of the most requested features on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. We now have it on the DJI Air 3. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about what it is and how to use it. You have no idea how happy I am we have Waypoints on the DJI Air 3. It is fantastic. It's one of my favorite features on the Mavic series and now we have it on this drone. So what is it? Well, basically it turns you into like a film director. You can plan your own drone missions and get the drone to do exactly what you want it to do. So you just go into the control, you hit waypoints, and then you can start adding your own waypoints just by hitting the C1 button. So I'm gonna switch over to a voiceover and tell you exactly how to use this. But basically you just hit waypoints on your controller and each one of these different points on the map, you can control how you want the drone to behave. So you can control the speed of it, the height of it. Do you want it to increase altitude, decrease altitude? Do you want the gimbal to point up? Do you want the gimbal to point down? Start recording, take a picture, everything. You can even save that and come back to that at a later date. So you could do a waypoint in one location in the daytime, save it, come back at nighttime in that same location, and it will remember the waypoint because you've saved it, and then it will do the exact same mission and then you've got a nighttime shot or a sunset shot. It is awesome. This is also perfect for filming yourself as well. So rather than doing a really complex mission, you might just want the drone to film you in a really nice location. So here at the top of a cliff, I want the drone to get a few shots of me without me actually having to actually look down on the controller and doing that myself. I want the drone to do it. So first of all, I will actually go and set different waypoints and then I'll just put the controller down I'll put it to my side, hit go and the drone will follow that and it can actually get a really nice shot of me or you wherever you are in that location using waypoints. Now let's switch over to the voiceover and I'm going to show you exactly how to use this. You're going to absolutely love it. So Waypoints works in normal video mode. All we're gonna do is click on this little squiggly line on the left-hand side here to activate Waypoints. So if you just click on here now, you'll see this screen. So what we're gonna do is to activate every Waypoint, you're just gonna hit the C1 button on the back of your controller. So on the back of DJI RC, you'll see that C1 button, that's what you're going to press. So every time you press that C1 button, it's going to plot a first waypoint. You can see here now, the first waypoint has been plotted here. Now I'm just flying this drone manually and I'm gonna then select each waypoint myself. So I want it to another waypoint to be around about here. So I'm gonna press that C1 button again and there's that second waypoint. I'm gonna continue doing this, but now I'm gonna increase that altitude. You can see the altitude is increasing. I'm also going to point that gimbal down. So now I want the third waypoint to be round about here. So now I'm gonna press the C1 button again, and I've got my third waypoint. Now what I want it to do, I'm gonna go right over this building here, point the gimbal down even more. And this is gonna be that fourth waypoint. And now to actually finish it, I'm gonna have it a little bit more complicated. So I'm actually going to go around here. I'm going to then face this park in the distance. I'm gonna go a bit further back and this is going to then be like a reveal shot at the end. And then once I've actually got it in place, I can hit the C1 button again. And this is going to then be the final waypoint that I want. So I've got five waypoints selected now. If I now hit the three dots on the right hand side, I can then customize how I want my waypoint to behave. So I can actually go and change some of the parameters now. So global speed. So I can adjust the speed of the drone. Do I want it to be fast or slow in speed? I can customize this exactly how I want. So for this example, I'm gonna have it round about 4.5 meters per second. Then I can actually choose do I want the one times camera or the three times camera and I can actually change that if I wish. Then I can also go and actually say what I want the drone to do. So at the end of the flight, do I want it to return back to me? Do I want it to hover? I wouldn't ever advise land, that's gonna be just a disaster. Or do I want it to just go back to the starting position? So for this example, I'm just gonna select it to return to home, come back to me. If it loses signal, you can choose, do you want it to return to home, hover, land, or simply just continue its waypoint mission, even if it loses signal, it's brilliant. And then waypoint, the starting point. Do you want it to start from the first waypoint or the end waypoint or halfway through? You can completely customize this. So I'm just gonna select number one. So now I've done that, I can actually just go and press that back arrow and that's gonna take me back to the waypoint menu. And then from here, what I can actually then go out and do is you see on the left hand side, you've got this box. If I hit that, I can also then save that waypoint. I'm now gonna hit go and what the drone will do is it will load that mission and it will fly back to that first starting point. 
I can even select the map icon and it will bring the map up and show all the different waypoints that I have plotted on the map, including the height, the angle, everything on the map as well. It's fantastic. And then it will actually do its thing and it will now follow the waypoints I have told it to do, still increasing the altitude. And then you can see now here, it's also going to do a really cool like helix orbit around this building as well to finish. It will then increase altitude. It is awesome. But now let's show you a more complicated waypoints. But before we do, if you'd struggle remembering any of these settings on any of your drones, don't forget I've got my own DJI cheat sheets that go through all of the different settings for your drone to get the very best out of it. So the settings to choose, how to remember certain features, it's really easy to forget these when you're out and about. So if you want to go and check out these, I've got them available for all different DJI drones. They're on my website, dmprovisuals.com. I've also got DJI lots for video and also presets for photos just to get you the very best quality out of your drone. So go and check them out. Now let's show you a more complicated waypoint. So the great thing about the DJI Air 3, you've got one times and a three times tele lens on this drone. So let's now select that three times zoom to get a really close shot, but you can still use that in waypoints. So just like before, I'm going to go around and now select different waypoints. So I've selected that first one there. I'm just going to orbit around here as it's picking up these rocks and actually select four different waypoints, hitting that C1 button every time. And now I'm going to show you how you can then go and actually customize each waypoint parameters as well to give you even more control. So on the main menu, like I mentioned, we can change the speed, what we want the drone to do at the end of the flight. If a signal gets lost, where we want it to start from. So I can actually change the speed of here. So I want this time it to be a little bit slower. So I'm gonna go for two, but if we go back now, we can now actually change each parameter. So let's now select the first waypoint. Once I've selected that, you can now see that I can change different actions that I want the drone to do at each waypoint. So at waypoint one, I can choose start record and this will then start the recording. I can go to waypoint four and I can actually tell the drone, right, at waypoint four, after you've done that, I want it to stop recording to give you even more control. But we can also change things like the gimbal tilt. So at waypoint four, I want to change that gimbal tilt. So I want the gimbal to actually point a bit further up. So it's really good, it gives you loads of customization, but this gets even better. So let's now just save that waypoint. I'm just gonna select rocks. So that's now saved as a waypoint. And now I'm gonna hit save as, and it will save that waypoint mission so you can refer to it at any other later time. So to show you that, I'm gonna turn waypoints off and face a complete different direction. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select waypoints again, open up that save stroke open menu, and then from here, I can actually go and click on the rocks waypoint that we just have done now. So let's now select that rocks mission. The drone will then open up that waypoint mission that you have just planned, and it will then fly to that first waypoint once you hit go, which is brilliant. It means you can do this at any time in different lighting conditions. You could have this at sunset and sunrise, for instance. So then it's at the first waypoint, and now it will then do that whole mission that I've just selected all automatically. It is absolutely bonkers just how good this is. You can see on the map again in the bottom left hand corner that it's going to each one of them different waypoints I've selected. It's orbiting around perfectly. And also there's going to now be a decrease in altitude just like I told it to. And also that camera is going to point up. It is so good. You're going to absolutely love making lots of different missions with this. But it gets even better. Let's just say the drone wasn't even in the air. It was in your car or on the ground. You can turn the drone on and then you can actually go onto the map select plan waypoints and then you can actually plot different waypoints without the drone even being in the air <laughs> i mean this is mind-blowing let's just see now so i can actually go onto the map just actually point with my finger on anywhere on the map and i can actually choose different waypoints i can still have all the customization like we did before so i can actually say what i want the drone to do do i want it to return to home where i want it to start from it is so good. And I can even go on to each different waypoint and I can select either follow course or I can actually choose the course myself. So I can actually go on to custom, which is at the bottom of this menu. And let's just say for waypoint four, if you just have a look there at that circle, I'm gonna choose custom. And now I can actually change the heading as well. And you can see the arrow changes. So if I want it to actually point a different direction, I can, and I can do this for every single waypoint. So it gives you a lot of customization and then you can actually go and save that waypoint. So then when you actually get to that location, you can take the drone off and do that mission.
I'm sure you'll agree that Waypoints is awesome. And if you've ordered the DJI Air 3, it's probably gonna be one of the first features that you're going to be using. Everybody wants Waypoints on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm really actually bummed out we don't have that, but I'm really happy we have it on the DJI Air 3. It is brilliant. So if you enjoyed this video, just hit that like button. It really does help out get this video to more people. Refer back to this video if your DJI Air 3 hasn't arrived yet, and then you can actually come back, watch this, and then have a go of Waypoints yourself. Hit that subscribe button. Do you know only 10% of you who watch these videos are actually subscribed. I would love it if we can get this to 15%. So if you do consider subscribing, hit the notification bell. You're not going to miss out because I've got a lot of videos coming on the DJI Air 3 and new content coming really soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.